everybody and welcome to the fantastic fabulous and fantabulous session by Vedantu 9th in English. My name is Pritesh. I'm your host, your dose and a proud master teacher from Vedantu welcoming you to the exam focused session from your very, very easy, amazing, super cool chapter that is fundamental unit of life self where we'll be looking at those concepts and those question answers which are very important from your exam point of view. So now we'll be just filtering the chapter a little bit and we'll be focusing on the important concepts of this chapter from an exam point of view. So let's begin the learning because exams hain to fir zada, you know, we can't just chit chat a lot, even though if I want to. Anyway, so uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Pritesh underscore Vedantu. You know that I'm coming live on Insta on Sunday. The time I'll confirm in a day or two. So thank you so much guys for responding. I saw I got a lot of responses after the last time we met uh, that I have to do an Insta live. So uh, we'll be meeting on Sunday. The time I'll be confirming in a while, right? Uh, so uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. And now we are talking about the cells. So let me just quickly take you through the timeline. So the cells were discovered by the, uh, you know, the English scientist Robert Hooke in the year 1665 when he observed the cork cells of an oak tree under his own made microscope. Then Sir Anthony van Leeuwenhoek discovered the living cells which he called animalcules and these cells included the bacteria, the muscle cells, the RBC, the amoeba, etc, etc. It was then that we got the cell theory by Schleden, Schwann and eventually by Virchow who gave us the three postulates that all organisms are made up of cells, all living organisms rather are made up of cells. Cells uh, are the fundamental unit of life and we also understood that uh, cells are the structure and functional unit of life and Virchow told that cells arise from pre-existing cells. So we know that organisms on this planet are either unicellular like the bacteria, amoeba, paramecium or they are multicellular like me, you, the birds, the animals, the fish, the trees, the plants, etc. So this was the timeline of the cell. The Schleden Schwann Perkins gave the term protoplasm which means the living part of the cell. Right? And we saw that how the division of labor happens in a multicellular organism. So in a multicellular organism, we have group of cells that make the tissues, tissues make the organs, organ make the organ systems and all the organ systems together make the organism. So that because there are so many complex catabolic, anabolic and metabolic processes happening in a multicellular organism, hence we have got, uh, you know, hence we have got uh, a group of cells. We have got more cells where the labor is divided. So. We first talk about the cell wall, which is made up of cellulose in green plants. It is made up of lignin in fungi like mushroom, and it is made up of peptidoglycan in bacteria. It is a freely permeable membrane, which gives structure to the cell. The cell membrane, which is also called as the plasma membrane, it is made up of lipids and uh, proteins. It is semi permeable in nature. It only allows certain molecules in and out of the cell present in all the cells. Cytoplasm, it is cyto means cell and plasm is the liquid. So cytoplasm is the liquid part of the cell which has got all the organelles freely suspended in it. It is the chemical treasure of the cell. Nucleus is the brain of the cell. It is the main part because it holds the DNA, it holds the chromosome which carry the hereditary information. Nucleus is something which controls the entire cell. All the processes, transportation, excretion, respiration, digestion, cell division, everything is controlled by the nucleus. And because it is so important, it has a membrane around itself called as the nuclear membrane, which is porous. The central part of the nucleus is called as the nucleolus. The nucleus is also filled with a liquid called as the nucleoplasm. Now, Osmosis is the movement of solvent from a region of lower concentration to a higher concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. Hypertonic solution shrinks the cell. If you put a resin that is kishmish in a salt solution, it will shrink. That is hypertonic solution. If you put the same resin in sugar solution, nothing, nothing will happen because the concentration inside and outside is the same. And if you put the same resin in water it will swell because that is a hypotonic so hypo hyper and iso that's the way you remember that's the way i remember it right so hyper is higher osmotic pressure cells shrink higher solute concentration used for food preservation 
isotonic equal pressure no effect on the shape uh, everything is equal not used for food preservation and hypotonic low osmotic pressure the cell swells low solute concentration and not used for food preservation then we know the endoplasmic reticulum which is like the assembly line it connects the nuclear membrane to the cell membrane so anything that goes from the nucleus to outside the cell and from outside to the nucleus that transport is done by the endoplasmic reticulum it helps in intercellular transport transport and membrane biogenesis what is membrane biogenesis membrane biogenesis the preparation of the cell membrane which is made of proteins and lipids under endoplasmic reticulum we have got smooth endoplasmic reticulum which helps in removing the toxins and the poisons from the body in the liver cells and rough endoplasmic reticulum which does protein synthesis because it has got ribosomes on it the golgi apparatus is the post office it helps to package transport and modify the different materials in the cell so uh, it helps to make complex sugars and it also makes lysosomes lysosomes are the suicide bags they have hydrolytic enzymes which destroy any foreign body if it enters the cell right mitochondria the power house of the cell it converts adp plus ip to atp and atp to adp plus ip it is the power house of the cell double membrane structure it is filled with a, a liquid called matrix and it is called as the powerhouse of the cell a very very important part of your cell so this is the structure of mitochondria double membrane inner outer cristae are the folds matrix is the kind of cytoplasm and yes very very important mitochondria has got its own dna plastids found only in plants they are the colorful organelles you have got chromoplast chloroplast and leucoplast chloro becomes chromo on ripening so chloroplast is green chromo is yellow red orange and leuco is colorless it is meant for storage of oil of starch of etc theek hai chromo leuco chloro you all know about chloroplast again a double membrane structure which has got thylakoids grana lamellae frets they trap the sunlight to carry out photosynthesis okay then plastids also have their own dna and ribosomes just like the mitochondria then when i talk about vacuoles they are empty spaces vacuum vacuole ring a bell yeah so vacuum and uh, vacuole is similar to vacuum they are empty spaces they are meant for storage of food water and waste within the cell plant cells have a very very huge vacuole animal cells have small vacuoles plant cells have a vacuole which has a covering layer called the tonoplast ठीक है why do we require new cells for growth for repair and for reproduction under cell division we have got two types so remember whenever you have an injury and you get new skin that is mitosis so anything except the formation of your sperm if you are a boy and the formation of ovum if you are a woman every cell division in the body except sperm and ovum is mitosis your growth your repair anything is mitosis but only the formation of sperm is meiosis and the formation of ovum is also meiosis why because here the number of chromosomes remains the same 46 becomes 46 here 46 becomes 23 and that is why meiosis is a uh, reductional division it is also uh, which is related to the formation of gametes whereas that is for the somatic cells of the body so that is mitosis same number of chromosomes and this is meiosis so that was all about your exam focus point of view for the chapter fundamental unit of life so guys if you want to learn from me like this in a rapid exam revision time then you must buy the vedantu pro lite subscription which you are getting only for rupees 9100 if sorry 8100 if you use the coupon code prepro Also, we have got some amazing summer courses for you. You can also buy them at a very very discounted rate if you use the coupon code P R E P R O. Else, uh, you can you know like um, if you don't use the coupon code, you'll end up paying a higher price, and we don't want that. We are Indians. We need discounts. We love discounts. So use P R E P R O and join the course, right? So I'll be seeing you in my regular classes really very soon. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vidhan to Ninth and English because it's absolutely free of cost. and do share this video with your friends and school whatsapp groups take care of yourself take care of yourselves
Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.